Patrick Riley, the junior, 21 goals on the season, 50 points, no bigger shot than right here. State title on the line. He missed it! He goes for the Pineka, and it hits the post! He went for the Pineka, folks! He tried to go for the class, the showboat, and he missed it! To the foot of number nine, the senior, Dante Searles. Can he do it? Will he be able to score? Will Chandler get the save? And went back-to-back -back shootouts. The pressure's on, folks. Here we go. Not gonna count. Ref said, procedural error. Vantage goes to Chandler. You saw the run up. You saw the shot. Is Dante gonna do the same thing or is he gonna do something different? Same thing! And he misses! Marlins win the state title! Welcome to the SSC Digital Network for a high stakes Sunshine State Conference women's soccer matchup. My name is Randy Silver on the call with my partner Dario Garcia in the booth and Carson Lowkey reporting from the sidelines. It's a special night here in Winter Park, Florida on the beautiful campus of Rollins College as we have two of the top three teams in the SSC facing off. Sitting in third, Embry Riddle Reek Eagles travels to Winter Park from Daytona to take on the 17th ranked team in the nation, sitting second in the SSC on their senior night, your Rollins College Tars. Embry comes in with a seven win, four loss, two tie overall record, 3-2-2 in conference, and they just lost on Wednesday, 1-0 against St. Leo. However, Embry comes in confident as they beat the Tars earlier in the season in a non-conference matchup of 1-0 at home. Rollins is hot, having won four of their last five. Their overall record, 7-2-1, 4-1-0 in conference. Let me bring in my partner, Dario, to help break down the action. Dario, what does Embry Riddle need to do well to leave tonight's match with a win? The corner kick will be <coughs> number 11. Tilzer, who had the assist in the first half. Can he get another one? Great ball in. Oh, yeah! 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 Bulldogs, 10 seconds. Not able to clear it. It will be a, a Bulldogs throw in. And they're going to win the state championship, the first ever. We had four games Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, two last night, a little bit of rain Thursday evening, no rain since. We got a shot and a goal! Golasso! Dun -dun 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 -dun. 23 fouls on the night, only one yellow card. That was against Embry Riddle a couple minutes ago. That could be PK, and he's giving it. He, penalty kick against the Tars. Embry Riddle wins a penalty off the free kick, pushing the back. The referee calls. Here's your replay. Ball coming in. That's a foul. They're calling against Cooper. Push in the back. It is the Tars' first penalty given up on the season. Embry Riddle has had one penalty kick. They scored one. Up with it is number eight, Grace Foyer. She has one goal on the match. Can she get her second and give her team a 2-1 advantage? And it's saved! What a save by the sophomore! Could be saving their season as well, staying in second place in the SSC. We're gonna take it quick. Back post! Another big time save 
from Agent Double Zero. This one's cleared out of the box. Pushed back in. That man strikes again. Agent Double Zero. Poland has his hands in his face. He can't believe he hasn't scored. The wind is very heavy still right now. It's a crosswind. Oh, and we almost have an errant play. Back heel pass, but we have a goal! Press, get the ball. Fantastic back pass by Miller to her teammate to score the goal as they look for number two. And they got it! Back to back goals in under two minutes to start this half. Just the way Bishop Moore drew it up. Another thing as well to make note of, as you soccer fans out there know, maybe this is your first time, uh, sometimes soccer games end in ties. <laughs> uh, normally, when you see the game, 0-0, zero, 2-2, zero, two, two, whatever the score may be, if it's a tied game, when it's over, it's tied. Being this is a championship game, that is not the case today. We will have golden goal, oh, which is my favorite thing to play the in best FIFA. Thing, the best thing about yeah, American yeah. soccer. <laughs> if you don't know what golden goal is, that means it's sudden death. So if this game is tied 0-0, zero, 1-1, zero, one, one, whatever it may be, at the end of regulation, we'll have a five minute intermission and then we'll play two 10 minute halves of golden goal. So sudden death, first team who scores wins. But if somebody scores in that open minute, it's over and, it, and, that's, it's and over. there's your winner. If no one scores in those two extra time periods, we will go to the... Penalty shootout. Penalty that, shootout. And that's the next best thing after a golden goal. Two goals on the day. Is he about to make it three? He gets past two. He passes to his man. And that's the goal! Tampa Prep Tampa's fourth on the day. That could be it. And secure the 3 a class title for them. Drayden got two women on her, trying to find some help. Decides to take them on her own. She got the speed. She got the power. She got the pass. Finds Park. Can Park get the shot? Unselfish. Cooper. Shot on Cage, not clear the way. Still bouncing. Ball back in, Heather Hill. Saved the way. Diving save by the senior. Frantic in front of the net. Still not cleared. Rollins putting all the pressure. Ball back in. Saved. Dario, what a sweet sequence. Yeah, this is just the, the momentum completely in favor of the Tar squad. Getting shots on goal. That was a beautiful play by Bree Drayton down the left side. Getting to Kayla Park and then squaring it up. I'm not exactly sure who shot, but that was a great shot. And the Eagles coach, Coach Mahakil Hatin, has four subs ready to go. He feels the momentum has switched for his team. Some tired legs out there, maybe some mental tiredness as well. Looking for some help off the bench. Ball in by the Eagles. Not cleared. Shot and cage, and that's in the back of the net. Eagles take a 2-1 advantage after being down 1-0. What a counter. Heartbreak for the Tars. Here's your replay. Almost a dummy without meaning it, just a missed shot. Number, I want to say it was number 10, putting in the back of the net. But we just said, Dario, you can't get caught on the counter. Tars had all the momentum, and it happened. Yep, it's, this is a problem with, with playing that high pressure. One lapse in concentration, they're in. A little dummy in the box, a missed shot in the box, falls perfectly for the, num for the Eagles number 10, and she scores. If we can get that replay one last time, production team, the referee's making sure all the subs that happened, he's getting it recorded. Love to see it one last time. And yes, if we can get it one last time before we get the kickoff. Here we go, folks. Thank you to our great production team. So you can see great touch with the left foot, sets up the right, low hard corner. Nothing Mijos could do. Officially credited goal scorer. As the Eagles are going for another quick goal. What a save! Second goal-saving save by Mijos in this half. Eagles could be up 4-1. 
only up 2-1. Here's a replay of that save. Just fast and thick action on the SSC Digital Network. Great punch away, making sure there's no rebound.